in an SHTF situation, you never know exactly what sort of um, circumstances you're going to find yourself in. Uh, if you're bugging in, you may have access to everything that you've pulled together. If you're bugging out, you may have access to a, you know, your bug out bag. And uh, you know, your circumstances might be even more dire than that. Uh, one of the most important things uh, when you're out uh, just trying to pull things together uh, under difficult circumstances is cordage, which is rope. Um, and uh, what I'm going to talk about today is how to make your own. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to do uh, with just things that you find outside. Um, this is some rope that I made, um, which is, um, I could probably break it, but you know, my giant muscles, you know, uh, pulling on it lightly doesn't pull it apart. As you can see, it's, it's reasonably strong. This is made up out of coconut husk, uh, which is the outside of a, uh, yeah, yeah pretty strong, uh, which is the outside uh, shell of a coconut. Uh, now, uh, if you've ever pulled a coconut apart, you uh, would know that the, those, the husk is you're pulling pieces off are probably pieces that are no longer than that, you know, maybe three or four inches. And yet I was able to turn them into pretty good rope. Uh, and the way that you do that is by taking the pieces and interweaving them and twisting them together so they hold on to each other. Now, uh, one of the, the poor aspects of coconut husk is that it is very short. One of the positive aspects though is that it's very rough, so the pieces are going to hold together once you've twisted them up together pretty well. So we're going to make a, a rope kind of like this. This is uh, made down in Puerto Rico on a, on a trip down there with, uh, with the kids. Uh, we made this together um, and uh, we're going to make some with uh, some grass. Now this is just some grass that I found, um, you know, just growing in my yard. Uh, now you can see these are very long, they're much lo longer than coconut husk that I described being just a few inches. Um, I've never made uh, rope with this specific type of grass before. Um, now the length yeah, I'm, I'm thinking is going to be a positive. Um, I'm not sure how slippery it is though, so that might be a little bit of a, a challenge having the, uh, you know, how, how, how well the fiber is going to hold together. I bet they're going to go pretty well. So what we're going to do to, to put this together is I, I've just got a few pieces. This isn't going to make a huge rope, but it'll give you a, a sense of, of how to begin. Um, you're going to take a few pieces. This is maybe, you know, a dozen or so. And what I want to do is flip them so they go in both directions. So you get the seeds at both ends. And the reason I want to do that is just for consistency. And what I'll do is uh, sometimes you can take... Uh, uh, two bunches and you can tie them together at the end and then start doing your twisting. What I'm going to try on this one is to kind of bend it right in the middle. And what I'm first I'm going to do is kind of break up the natural uh, tubular nature of these and just kind of get the fibers free floating in there. I'm going to squish the middle and then I'm going to do a bend like that. All right. And then all that you do is start twisting it. And you're twisting both of these bunches in the same direction. So as you can see I am going to do this. And they're beginning to twist here. And I'm going to keep them separate as these two bunches. It looks like it's going to be easier if I'm kind of angled down like this. And I'm twisting them together. And I'm going to keep putting the same twists on either side. And what the twisting does is it makes the two ends lock together. Okay. I'm not going to speed this up because one of the things I think is important to understand is how frickin' long this takes. Now, it's enjoyable, there's a bit of a zen to it, um, unless you have arthritis, <laughs> perhaps. Um, but it, do, it does take some time. So, you can see we're already kind of getting something that looks a little bit like, like rope there, down at the bottom. And you can see w with the way that these are being twisted is that they lock into each other. So they're grabbing into each other. So I'm going, to, I'm going to continue this a little bit more. And this is, uh, this is the primary step, what you're doing. And I'm, I, I wouldn't normally do it like this, but I'm doing it this way to kind of show the camera a little more. I'm, I'm squishing the fibers as I go, too, because uh, I feel like breaking up and mashing them is going to help for them to uh, you know, not, be, not be brittle later. Um, but it, normally I would do it kind of like down like this, but I'm doing it this way so you can see a little bit better. So the next step, uh, now that we've kind of got that together, is I'm going to uh, add some more to it. Because obviously if we just kept going with this grass, the rope would only be about an, an inch. Oop, there's a fly. There we go. These work great. All right. Maybe those should be my bug-up bag, but they're kind of bulky and fragile. So what I'm going to do next is uh, put in some more grass. 
And the way that you do that is before you've run out of all your grass, you want to add to it. So I'm going to get a couple, a couple more pieces, maybe six or so, because we had uh, looks like about the same amount there. And what I think I'm going to do is uh, maybe, yeah, I'll, I'll flip flop them again, so they're kind of going in both directions, just for consistency. There we go. And what you want to do is you want to start integrating this new batch before you run out of the, the grass here. So I'm just going to kind of stick it in there and grab it around with my hands and kind of get them interspersed with each other. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Get a few more, more pieces of grass. And I'm not going to bother flipping these around just to give you a sense of how cavalier you can be about the whole thing. And now I'm, I'm going to start twist, continue the twisting that we've been doing earlier. You can get a little messy here and there, and it's not really that important whether or not your rope looks pretty. You know, there could be a bunch of crap hanging out of it and everything. By crap, I mean leaves and stems. Uh, just for clarity here. But what is important is you, you get these really nice and locked together, and you get a good, a good twist in there, because the twist is what's binding all the fibers uh, in uh, in these different uh, bundles together, and as you remember, uh, Caesar from uh, Planet of the Apes said that to get uh, together a bundle of sticks is strong. So that's what we're going for here. It was probably said by someone else prior to Caesar in Planet of the Apes, but uh, that's my most re recent recollection of it. One one ape weak, many apes strong. So that's what we're doing, binding together all of our apes. It probably was a Roman though, speaking of Caesar. All the good posts come from the Romans. And some other people too. All right, so we're still going here. And again, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna speed this up because I want you to see how long it takes. So you don't think there's anything wrong with you. And again, just continuing to twist and as you're twisting, the, uh, the bundles naturally curl around each other. So you don't really have to work to get them to curl around each other. The twisting automatically makes it them want to, bend, to kind of twist uh, around each other and, and stay twisted. And the tighter you can make your twist, the more it's going to want to lock together. You really want these things to be tw twisted really hard up on each other. All right. Still, still going, and at this point, these ends are starting to look like they're getting a little on the short side again. So this would be a time when I would want to add some more. But not to tire you with an overly long YouTube clip, I think we'll probably stop there. But what I will do is I'm going to hold on to this end, and I'm going to hold on to this end, and give it as much pull as I can. I mean, I'm obviously not a bodybuilder, but I can't break that. So if I continued with this, it makes a nice strong cordage, and you could use this to hold, you know, up a, a tarp, or uh, yeah, whatever you would want to use rope for. Um, yeah, I've got these others; I could put them in there as well, and just keep going. Um, so yeah, it, that's the process for making rope. It's a really useful skill. Um, you hope you kind of never need to use it because, as you can see, it takes a while. But if you need rope, it's not beyond your means to do, and you can do it with really long grass like this, which doesn't slide past each other. My fears were unfounded. You can do it with coconut husk. You could probably do it with human hair. Maybe. Never tried that. Or you can even do it with short little things like this. I don't know if you can see behind me, there's some stinging nettles growing out of my garden. One of my best crops. Don't eat them that much, though. I just did. You can boil nettles and they won't sting you, but they're still kind of furry. They're very nutritious, though. So I let them do their thing. But that uh, nettles are great for cordage. Um, you, know, you, uh, you break them up and uh, soak them and you can get the fibers. You can make really good rope out of, out of nettles. Um, but you can see it takes a while. So, pre-SHTF, I would highly recommend just stock up on paracord and rope. Uh, this costs just a few dollars. I get it on Amazon like I do pretty much everything else. And um, it's just so much easier. So you can do it yourself in a pinch. Um, but you can see it takes a while. Stock up if you have the means now. But if you ever are in a situation where you need rope, it's not beyond your means. So, 
let me know your thoughts. Do you think uh, that there are other possible uh, materials that would be really good cordage that you have around your place? Let me know uh, in, in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching.